Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, mine Litecoins on Windows. Uh, a couple weeks ago I did a little uh, short tutorial on how to mine Quark Coins, which is a great beginner coin um, that just re kind of requires a CPU to mine. Uh, Litecoins uh, require a little bit more. It actually requires uh, a pretty decent graphics card. Um, so if you're a gamer or if you just have a system that has a good graphics card, generally newer within the last two years, um, you can Litecoin mine. So I'm going to go through step by step on how to do this. First you're going to want to go to reviewoutlaw.com and you're going to click on um, how to mine Litecoins. So I'll also put a link in uh, the YouTube notes. Um, basically, we'll just go through a little intro here, what is mining, things like that. We're going to get right into what we need to do. We need to first download the Litecoin wallet. So to do that, um, if you have Windows, you can just click a direct link, or you can uh, go to litecoin.com and uh, download it here. I'm just going to click the direct link. Um, so once that's downloaded, you're going to want to open that. If you have certain types of antivirus, might pick this up as a uh, virus, so you might need to. Uh, Norton looks like it says it's fine, so. But if you have another antivirus, you might need to disable that. Uh, you're going to just go through the install. I actually already have Litecoin installed, so I'm just going to open it here. Oh, it's already open actually. I'm just going to need to maximize it here. So um, basically here you're going to get to your main screen. Um, now that you have it downloaded and opened, we actually want to first do is just go to our receive tab and go to uh, an address here. By default these will just kind of be unnamed so you can label it if you'd like. Just hit edit, put in a label and here is your address. This is your receiving address. So we're going to right click and hit copy address. And this is actually the where the money is going to go to. So when you're mining, it's going to go into this address. So now we have step two done. We have um, that received. Now, the third step here, you want to disable the antivirus. And this is why. Pretty much all Bitcoin, Litecoin, any kind of coin miners uh, come up as uh, viruses a lot of times with Norton and Malwarebytes, pretty much everything that's out there. Reason being a lot of um, botnets use um, these different types of mining software on their zombie networks. So uh, antivirus can't distinguish if you actually want to use the software or not. So by default it just comes up as a virus, blocked. It, um, it, sometimes it just says low risk, but the easiest thing to do is to, if you have Norton, just right click, disable, for about 15 minutes. If you have another antivirus, then just disable that for um, about 15 minutes. And um, I'll show you later on how to exclude the folder from um, from the antivirus. So now uh, we get down to download that actual mining software. Uh, the couple different, I have three different options here. You can download EXE, which is the easiest. Just click on it and it'll install. Second option is a zip. This won't um, auto install, so you'll have to manually extract it to the Litecoin folder. Um, and then, if you want to actually have this auto start with the computer, you have to create a shortcut in the shortcut folder. Um, then, the last thing, if you're super paranoid, is actually the code here, and you can view the code and you can modify it or compile it with auto it. Um, this is great if you're super paranoid. Now again, if you're trying different software out and you're unsure if it's safe or not, I always recommend you try this program called Sandboxy. Uh, this will basically allow you to, to, to try your program kind of an isolated area of your hard drive so it can't spread and it's, um, it's a very good idea to, to try out new software. Um, always read the reviews on the bottom of any site you're checking out. Make sure the reviews look good. Um, you can always try it on a virtual machine too, and you can Google on how to do that. But um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to download the EXE. Now, if I disable the antivirus, if I didn't disable the antivirus, it'd probably just come up with an error and say kind of auto delete itself. So now that I've disabled the antivirus, we're going to click open. 
Again, this is Windows. Um, thinking it's protecting us because it doesn't. It's not a very commonly used program. So we're going to have to click More Info and click Run Anyway. Now this is going to show us um, where we're going to install the program itself, and we're going to leave that default. So we're going to click Next on that. Now I've already have have it installed. It's it's if you already have it installed, it's fine to overwrite. Just click Yes if you haven't already installed it then this will not pop up. So now we have the program installed. Um, let's go down to the next step here. And now we want to test it. Um, so this is the default address left in here. To test it what we're going to need to first do is go back to your um, address and copy it and you can just go to the, the coin receive a coin address and you're going to paste it. So that's going to put your new number in here. This shouldn't be this number anymore. It should be your personal receive address. Um, now we're going to uncheck Start Program Invisible, and we're going to click Idle and Not Idle. Now we're going to click Start, Save and Start. So that's going to actually allow us to see what's going on with the program. A little DOS screen should pop up saying Start it. Now, it might take a while for the first time for it to run, but you should eventually see this screen here where you can see it's GPU 1, it's giving me a uh, kilohertz a second, and it's showing me an average, and it's saying accepted. This is good news, it means the program is working perfectly. Um, after 48 hours, I should have some Litecoins um, in my wallet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this process. Now, for whatever reason, if you see uh, under GPU zero, or it's it's you know maybe say CPU mining only, or it's saying rejected, it's probably a graphics card. Um, the driver sometimes can be a little iffy with the software. So what I'll show you later on uh, how to fix that. Basically, you're going to need to uninstall your graphics card driver and then reinstall uh, with a particular model that works very well with this um, Litecoin miner. All right, so now we've basically tested it. We know it works. Uh, we verified by checking these two settings right here. Um, now we're going to replace, which we already have done, um, the address. So just verify that that's your wallet address. And now we're going to recheck these two off. We're going to click Save and Start Program Visibly and do idle. So this way, if you're using the computer, it's going to run nice and fast. When you walk away, get a drink or something, after about 20 seconds, it's going to start mining. Uh, go to sleep, go to work, whatever you're going to do. It's going to mine in the background. It's going to auto start up with your computer. You don't have to worry about it. If for some reason you will run it to run it during only certain hours, you could run it during certain hours right here. And these are just the arguments. Um, the one thing you could change uh, down here is the intensity level. If you want to um, maybe get a little bit more power, a little bit more speed. You can change from 13 and go up slowly um, and see what kind of power you can get. If you go up too much, it will stop working. Um, so what you want to do is actually run this in the testing mode. Go from 13, go up higher. This is, you know, if you want to get a little bit more uh, juice for your for kind of your uh, the power you have, uh, and you can actually check out this above here mining hardware wiki on uh, what the different settings are. But uh, that's a little bit more advanced, so I'll, I know you just want to get <laughs> mining quick. So um, basically, that's about it. You're just gonna go back here. Um, you're gonna make sure this is checked off. Start programs visible. PCs idle. You should hit save. And after about 20 seconds, now you're mining. Now, um, you know, after about 48 hours, what I would do is go over to Litecoin here, open that up, and you're going to check and make sure that that money actually shows up. Go to transactions. You should see some coins coming in. Now, the more systems you do, um, the more coins you're going to get. Uh, if you get friends to do it, you know, try to have them. That'd be, that'd be uh, good and have them send you some coins once they mine it. Um, use family systems, things like that. Friends, work, whatever you want to do. And um, and then, of course, the better card you have. So if you have a $100 card, you might not get so many coins. You get a $200, $300, $400 card. 
graphics card that is, uh, then you're going to get much more, many more coins. So this is just a quick how-to guide. Now, if you have any issues with the testing phase, um, what you're going to want to do is go to your uh, AdRemove Programs Uninstalled ATI software. You're going to right-click on this. You're going to save this bat file. Um, once it's saved, you can basically want to run that as an administrator. Uh, if anything pops up, you can click Y key, Y key, Y key, which is just yes. Then you're going to basically download this ATI 13.1 for 64, 32 bit, depending what you have. Restart the computer, download the AMD um, SDK 2.9 pack, install that, again, restart the computer. Then you're going to basically open up the C setup program and basically retry step six um, and that should hopefully get you working if it doesn't it might be a graphics card it might just be too old if you really want to mine I would try quark coin mining because you don't need all this these advanced settings um, or you could get a, a nicer graphics card like newegg.com or something like that so hopefully that works for you guys let me know how you like the software um, that's just a quick little guide on how to mine Litecoins on Windows. In the future, I'll be trying to put out a couple uh, different guides on uh, other uh, cryptocurrency coins. So the goal is if you can get, um, you know, about a thousand coins, at least this is my goal, get a thousand coins together. Um, and if the price of Litecoin goes up to about a thousand dollars, then you will have one million US dollars sitting in your wallet, and which you can then, of course, trade for real cash. So um, that's the goal. You know, if it, it might take a while to get there, but hey, let it, let, let the PC mine for a year and, and see what happens. So um, yeah, best of luck to everyone. All right, thanks. Bye.